Hi everyone and welcome to SWPL My Story Short and today we are joined by Bonnie Rig Rose, Ruth Gorman. How are you Ruth? I'm good thanks, how are you? Yeah I'm great, thank you. So um, probably the highlight story of the week throughout Scottish women's football, maybe a game that people weren't expecting but Bonnie Rig Rose against Queen of the South, um, goalkeeper gets injured 30 minutes in, no goalkeeper on the bench you decided to step up and put the gloves on. Uh, so clearly it wasn't expected, but can you just talk me through like how it, how it happened from the goalie getting injured? So I, to be honest, I don't really know what happened. All I know is um, Erin, our goalie, went down injured and she got back up again. I was like, oh, she'll be fine. And then the next minute she's down again injured and nobody knew how serious it was. So we all just started looking around at each other, letting the coaches do what they need to do, like see if they can help her or let her help her play on. And I'm going to get a drink. And the next minute I'm called over from my coach going, Ruth, yeah, any chance you can go on goals? Please. <laughs> yeah, that's please? Goals. Pardon? Did they say please? Yeah, he did say please. <laughs> and I was, yeah, that's fine. So I went in cool. goals there. But nah, it was unexpected considering... Like you don't, you never expect your goalie to get injured. Like that's one player you never really expect. They eh? like. Nice. So when so when he's asked you if you would go in goals, you're a centre back to trade. Have you ever been in goals before? So yeah, I've played in goals. I've played in goals for about a third of the season at under fifteens, under seventeens. So I, that was yeah. It was took me back to the days of having the gloves on for half a match at a, game, a time. It was still rolling subs then, but nowadays it's not rolling subs. So once you're in, you're in. So I said, when we, I said when we announced that you were that you were going to come on with us, that you do see it, even in the Premier League, men's, women's, whatever it is, all the subs have been made, goalie gets a head knock, five, six minutes to go, you normally see it. Usually a defender, I'll go in goals. I've been in goals at training before, but it was on the half hour mark. So you had injury time in the first half, the full second half plus injury time. So all in, you were in for over an hour. But yeah, I think there was 10 minutes added time in the first half. So by the time they got Erin off the pitch and I, overall, I think it was about 70 minutes I ended up playing in goals and my hands were shaking the whole time, honestly. <laughs> you just hope to tell everybody to launch it, just keep it away from Every this. time the ball came close to me, I was just like, it's not going in the back of the net. It's not going in the back of the net. Like in my head, I would like, I think I pulled off a couple of good saves and all the, the coaches are like, yes, Ruth. And I'm just stood there like, what do I do next? Like, <laughs> panicking. And there's three kicks coming in and I'm like, I don't know where my wall's meant to be. But I obviously I got through it and kept a clean sheet, which for the girls, I think, was the biggest thing to keep us like going forward because getting a clean sheet and helping us win the game eventually. So, yeah, then you, I was just about to touch on that. So you went on and won, won the game 2-0. So is there, um, have you you had your coach on it? You said, uh, what are you doing this coming weekend? Well, yeah, he spoke to me last night at training and asked if I would do a big favour and go and go. So we're still trying to, we're still waiting on the severity of Erin's injury. So we're not 100% sure. We're fingers crossed it's not as severe as we think. But she's, we're, I'm in goals on Sunday. So hopefully another clean sheet would be good. I know you've set a high bar now. That's going to be uh, it's going to be expected that you know. Yeah. If you like, if you like one in at this point, you probably might have your defenders having a go at you. Well, I probably I thought I'd have that on Sunday. To be honest. <laughs> so um, obviously you you've got a two 0 win, your first win of the season. Um, obviously pat the back to you, team of the week, player of the match. Um, but obviously it's a bigger picture than that. It's great. Obviously you you stepped up, put the gloves on for the for the team, but. More importantly, as you, as you touched on, it's three points on the board, something to build on now going into this weekend. Yeah, 100%. Like, I think we played the first game a couple of weeks ago and it was against Four Firm. We got beat 2 0. It was a really close game. I think the girls are a bit deflated, obviously, getting beat. And it was only like the last like 20 minutes they scored their two goals. I think that's hard for the girls to take. But last week we won in the League, the league Cup. And then obviously this week we won. Uh, two and against Queen of the South. Going forward, I think it's just we just want to get points on the board, and like obviously we're just promoted, so targets to stay up. But we want to be pushing for top three, pushing for promotion. We're a good, we're a good enough side, and the girls all know that. Like we're still a young team, but 
as a team, we're a very we're a good team, we're a gel team, and the girls know that. And we've set standards during the season, especially last season. And it's just making sure we hit these standards because when we're playing our best, there's it's hard to break us down. Yeah, and the the actual club itself at Bonnie Grows, it's like such a community club. It's been in the men's side, it's been massive for years through the junior ranks when East of Scotland uh, set up came in. And now they're playing in the in the football league, but has that trickled down um, and transferred over to the the women's side and the actual support you get for the community and stuff like that? Well, yeah, I think it's always been like a community club. So I started at Bonnig when I was about twelve, and um, I moved away to the other clubs and then came back. And I think even from when I was younger, you could see the community side within Bonnig. Like everybody wants involved. Like if there's players come along, want to train. They get involved, and the fact that men see managed to get the promotion that they were pushing for so hard for so long, I think that just brought more spotlight on the club. And obviously, we only started the women's side about two years ago. So, but as soon as the women's side, it was such a big thing that like the men helped promote it. Like we we're invited to the men's matches when we got promoted, we were invited to go and do a guard of honor at the men's matches and stuff. So I do think the men side and the women's side were like. Um, obviously, like they help us promote us, and we try and promote them as well. So, but the community, like obviously, the girls are down during the summer holidays and stuff, going helping the kids camps that are on and stuff, just for free, like yeah, just to just, yeah, just to the younger people. ones, like yeah. this is who we are, like, and they don't like the younger ones are now passing us at training, smiling and looking as if to say, oh, I know who you are because you play for the first team, so. And that's it. You are the role models for for these girls that are that are coming through, and to to hear that you are embracing that, and you it, it's such a big movement at the moment. But you are you are willing to be part of that and give up your own time for the for the good of the club and the the next generation that's coming through. And um, through doing a lot of these interviews, it, it's not unheard of that you go and helping at these summer camps, and then maybe in four, five, six years' time, some of these girls are going to be your teammates. Um, yeah. So it's it's where it it's where it starts. So it's fantastic to hear that you are embracing that and you are really buying into the the project that Bonnie Rig Rose currently has. So now that's that's fantastic. So thanks yeah. a lot, Ruth, for uh, for for joining us today. And um, now that I know that you're going to be playing goals on on Sunday, uh, I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out for the results. So good luck <laughs> with that. Thanks, we can throw another clean sheet. <laughs> well, it's a, thanks so much for joining us, Ruth, and thank you everyone for joining us on SWPL My Story Short.